Welcome everybody to the Forney Finance Channel. My name is Jeff Beers. Today I'm giving you one stock to buy that trumps everything Uber and Lyft have going for them without probably 90% of the risk associated with the Uber and Lyft IPOs. So let's jump in and see what this mystery stock is. All right, the first thing you should know if you are interested in buying Uber and Lyft is that you are it is a long, long, long game. Very long game, probably a minimum of three year investment before they even start to have any money. They have, a, both companies have a lot of debt. Both companies are competing against each other. And both of these rideshare companies are facing razor, th razor thin margins as they deliver people around their destinations. And the big worry, of course, is if they raise their prices to pad their margins, they may lose to the competition. They also may lose to the next company that starts up a rideshare service. So that's just a quick things you should know about Uber and Lyft before we jump into the alternative. All right, so the best alternative for any sort of ride sharing stock right now is Alphabet. Google has their hands all over the ride sharing industry, and I'm gonna show you exactly where in a second. But the bottom line is, with a company like Google, you can get in deep on the ride sharing industry with a much smaller risk proposition than you will with Uber or Lyft. Google trades right now at a P of 28.79. Google has had a little bit of a dip since their most recent earnings call. However, that's just discount on a, a profit machine that just continues to churn along. Churn, churn, churn. You can poke holes in Google all you want and basically all you're gonna say is they're gonna make slightly less money or slightly less margin in any given quarter than they've done in the past, but it is by no means a company that's gonna do anything less than print lots of money over the next 10 years. All right, so I've collected a handful of sources here just to sort of illustrate how Google has everything entwined to the rideshare industry. This was a article on Yahoo Finance, and I'm just gonna cut out the little piece that I liked. And it talks about Uber and the cost that they have with their business. And they go on to say, Uber uses two cloud computing providers, AWS and Google Cloud. Uber didn't even develop its own maps, but it spent tens of millions of dollars to use Google Maps. Uber pays Google Maps for their map service because it needs an API and needs to connect to their web app so that they can help drivers and help drivers find their passengers. They spend tens of millions of dollars right into Google Maps. That price isn't gonna go down anytime soon. Google's happy to take that contract every day, all day. So that's one example where Google's making money off Uber. Next up, this article from The Observer talks about seven or eight companies that made money from the Uber IPO. And Google Ventures is listed very prominently in this article. In 2013, Google venture, Google's venture capital arm bought $258 million worth of Uber shares for $3.55 apiece. So that's 2013 Google was entwined. And then in 2014, it invested an additional $60 million at $15 per share. Okay, and these are private shares. It doesn't get any better. In total, the stake is now worth more than $3.8 billion. Google has their hands on $3.8 billion worth of Uber's equity. They're in a pretty good spot if Uber does anything outstanding. All right, the next one here comes from The Motley Fool. And this is where we start to talk about one of the biggest plays Google has on Lyft and Uber, and that is Waymo. And Waymo is Google's driverless car solution that they've been putting together. Not only is the driverless car a technology that requires a lot of data points to process, but it also requires Google Maps 
to know exactly what the roads are in addition to all the sensors around the vehicles and the computer chips to make this thing work. Google has a great program with Waymo. Probably Tesla is the only other one that even has a shot at getting to market over Google. And this is really the year that Waymo starts to come out into more public places. And once you get another year or so of launches in cities and tests, this thing's gonna skyrocket to the moon. All right, so sticking on the Waymo theme, Waymo has Uber in a couple different areas, all right? So the first is that Uber execs tried to steal some of Waymo's technology way back in the day, and they recently settled on a $245 million settlement that went to Waymo for theft of intellectual property and so that's a nice payment that, you know, most of us could retire 12 or 20 lifetimes with. However, it's just, um, it's only the start of the payments that Uber is gonna have to make to Waymo because they're, not only did they steal the IP, but now they're in a situation where they have to find someone who can provide the Waymo technology that Lyft is getting from Waymo. So you see down here on these articles, Lyft to offer Waymo self-driving taxis in suburban Phoenix. So now Lyft and Waymo slash Google are all in a happy house together and they're gonna experiment with Waymo that could completely transition the way that Lyft is going about their business. And meanwhile, you have Uber over here who's already been a bad boy with Waymo, they've already sent them a check for 250 million, and there's no way they can use any of the intellectual rights that they stole, because it'll be so obvious. So now Uber has to figure out, how can I keep in pace with Lyft in this experimental market of driverless cars? I think they're gonna have to come and apologize to Waymo and figure out a way to play nice, which at the end of the day benefits one company, and that's Google. So there you have it guys, an outstanding alternative to these Uber and Lyft IPOs. It's right here in a lot of our portfolios and a lot of our ETFs. It's Google, it's on sale right now. It just went through a dip. We could have another stock market dip with some of these volatile signs I'm seeing over the next 30 or 40 days. So hang on to some cash. If you can get Google under $1,100, um, then you're doing pretty good. But if you're into the next wave of ride sharing with Uber and Lyft, don't buy those stocks. Buy Google, no matter who comes up next in this ride sharing world, they're gonna have to connect to Google. And at the end of the day, it's much easier to be the service provider to the company doing the ride sharing than it is to have to worry about ride sharing for millions of people around the world. So hope you enjoyed this take and I'll see you on the next video.